What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am Eddie Wright and today we're calibrating our GMG Jumboy Prime. The reason we're calibrating this grill, we've had it several months now and what we've noticed is that our cook temps seem to be a lot higher than what we actually are dialing in. So I went to Amazon, grabbed some oven temp gauges, sat them on the grill grates. We waited for the temp cycle to reach the initial 150 degrees and then we took a look to see what our temp gauges were telling us. A few moments later. So we're back out. Temp has solidified unstable 150 degrees. So we're going to check our temperature gauges. Her brakes, let's have a look. Let's see what adjustments we need to make. This over here. It's a little under. Back here to the rear. Can't really see it. Pull our uh, shield all the way to the left so that our heat flows from back to front. Back to front. And uh, we're going to see what this rear gauge does because this most definitely looks like it's our hot zone. And this is why it's important to do this to get a better understanding when you're cooking on any rig to know how your heat circulates what it's doing so we'll come back in about 10 or 15 minutes see how this is sitting and see how this one's sitting and see what we got oh and we'll open the downdraft up all the way let's go a few moments later turn the light on so we're back out probably about 15 minutes later look at our temp gauges still at 150 pulling about say 160 here right side we're still extremely hot so we know that our hot zone is back toward the rear and we want to like kind of keep as much stuff away from that hot zone as possible knock your down drafts wide open no restriction and we're still running a crispy uh 2 200 220 uh, say 215 keep changing it so what we'll do next uh we'll probably dial it up five degrees We'll move these around first. I'll move this one to the front to see how it's sitting in the front. And I'll move this one to the back. Let's go ahead and push it to the back so we're looking at. So, be back. Let's see where this sits in about 10 minutes. And we'll focus on this one again. We already know what it is. So let's see if we can pull this one back up to the front to see if it goes down there. So, let's do that test. All right, be right back. A few moments later. So with the diffuser all the way to the rear, it looks as though we're evenly 210, so we're 60 degrees off here. So we'll remember that number, we'll adjust it, we'll set up our, we'll put our thermometers on our top rack, see how we look there, see how we look there, and uh We'll take it. We'll take it from there as far as dialing it in. So we'll be right back. A few moments later. All right. Last time, open it up. Let's take a look at our numbers. Two fifteen, almost two ten. So we're running a little hot toward the rear on the upper rack. So we most definitely have to dial this up. One hundred and fifty is most definitely not what we're sitting at. Once the uh, smoker is warm. So we'll go ahead and call this episode complete. We'll dial it up. We'll get it where it needs to be. So now we're efficiently smoking on the temperatures we need to smoke and grill on without any question anymore. Because previously there were a lot of questions I was really worried. But this most definitely confirmed my worries. So we'll dial her up and uh, we'll get it. Well, now that we have to where we are, we can be more efficient. So Thank you guys for tuning in and always remember, calibrate your equipment and you too can do amazing barbecue the right way. See you next time.